Hi there, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel and checking out this video. My name is Dee, and I bought a minivan. But hold on, before I give you the grand tour, let's go back to the beginning, back to where it all started, approximately one month ago. Pretty much my whole life, I've wanted to go RVing. I love camping out and traveling so much that I decided when I finally have the money together to buy and renovate a van, I'm going to do it. This year is the year I decided that I was finally ready to take that plunge. And so, in early July 2021, I did it. I bought a van. And then came... The fear. My god, what have I done? A very significant part of me worries that I've made a horrible mistake. In fact, I can't shake that feeling. I feel like I could have done something more with that money. I had a good amount of it invested, and a lot of it was paying rent while I was laid off during the pandemic. I mean, what was I thinking? buying a van to travel across country? And speaking of, this minivan, this 2002 Toyota Sienna, does not, at times, feel like a reliable vehicle. When I first acquired it, it was filthy on the inside. It was disgusting, and touching various parts of it made me recoil, as grime would accumulate on my hands. As you can see here, the carpet was nasty, which is why the majority of it was the first thing to go. This wasn't even the dirtiest thing I'd seen in here, but it was necessary to get it out if I was going to build this into a livable space. So, without knowing where else to start, I began by removing the seats and cutting out a significant portion of the carpet to be thrown away. I then scrubbed down almost every interior nook and cranny with water and bleach and took a wire brush to the rust spots on the floor bed so that I could spray over them with a protective layer of paint. Then I had a friend with a grinder cut out the loops for the passenger seats so that when the time came to lay down the flooring we'd have a mostly flat surface to work on. And that was pretty much the end of week one. The next thing I did was ask my friend Ashley to help me install some laminate flooring. This whole process took several hours, but through the magic of editing, it'll take a few minutes. This flooring is also left over from last year when we removed the carpets in our apartment to put in laminate flooring. In the long run, this was a huge cost savings, but there was still a lot of work to be done. With the flooring finished, it was time to start building up the interior living space. I bought a shelving unit from Target, a cot, and a few water tanks from Dick's Sporting Goods. The shelving unit is anchored to the floor, but we added the bungee cord for some extra lateral stability. And that was pretty much the end of week two. Next came the mechanical side of things, because this van had some issues. For that, I employed another friend, who has worked as a professional mechanic for 20 plus years. The van was in heavy need of a front end alignment, but before we could do that, we needed to replace the ball joints and correct the towing before my tires ended up wearing down unevenly. There was also an exhaust gasket that needed to be replaced, but we were racing against the clock as inclement weather was about to rain havoc, literally, down upon us. Fortunately, we only got a little wet before it was done. All in all, this was the longest, slowest part of the build process, because we had to wait until the parts came in the mail, and we each had a day off to spend tearing things apart and putting them back together. Over the course of two weeks, everything was taken care of. With the most dire of mechanical issues addressed, the vehicle was deemed road ready and good to go. So it was time to turn back to the interior and put up some privacy curtains. I found these cool road trip curtains that I thought were wildly appropriate for my future travels, so we cut them to size, hemmed them, hang them up using paracord and metal brackets. I should mention that we experimented with plastic hooks and Gorilla Glue, but that just didn't last when it came to the tension that we were putting on them and the 90 degree weather we were having this week. In the end, however, I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm very proud of all the work we put into it. That brings us to today. With a little over a week before I embark on my trip, I'm just waiting on one or two things to arrive before I'm ready to go. I have a solar generator and a power station coming in the mail. I still need to locate a jack and get a spare tire. An air compressor would definitely make a lot of sense. And I need either propane or butane for my camp stove or I guess I just don't cook. Also not shown in this video is the sink setup I ordered so that I'll have running water. I'll probably show that off in the next video where I give the grand tour and attempt to take this baby camping for the first time just to see what it's like. As is, this is still a work in progress, which means there's much more to come. So why not subscribe, ring the bell, and you can follow along on my journey, because this is only the beginning.